Hello guys and welcome back to Mountain Blade Warband. This is a very exciting episode because we get to customize our army. Now we are using a mod called Custom Character Mod. There is a link in the description, like in every video, for those who don't know. But it's still native. It just it's just a small mod, okay? Um so here we are on the customization screen and we've picked the branch of three of uh, all these different tiers. Um and this is what it looks like when you first go to customize your troops. All your dudes are naked, or your females, depending on what you picked. Um, your prefix is what goes in front of the name. So in our case, we'll go with Hawkwood. Oops, if I can type. Damn, they're all called Hawkwood now. Now the first one is like your peasant. This is your recruit. Um, so you, down here is your money. That's your funds. Um, here we have all of the different equipment in the game, going from e e even pistols. I don't know why it's got pistols in there, but it does. Um, gauntlets all the way down to all your, all your weapons and horses. Uh, here we have just the, the different tiers of weapons. Um, going to plain, balanced, tempered, masterwork, heavy and strong. Um, that just makes the weapons uh, better and obviously more expensive. Uh, so it, depends, it really depends how much money you have. And then over here we have all the stats uh, for each tier. So this is a recruit. Um, so first of all, I like to start off with body armor. And also it's not going to be very... Um... Also, I do like to mix them up. And now I have made made this already, so this is going to be quickly. Uh, I'm, I'm going to quickly go through this. Um, let's give him some shoes. Going to go one-handed. Let's go give him just a nice cheeky uh, pickaxe. There we go. And then we can go to shields. Let's go to the crappy shields, and let's just go and give him like. A, let's give him that. And we can probably even give him a helmet, maybe. Um, let's go to caps and helmets. Uh, here we go. And go down to the the crappy tier as well. And we can just give him whatever. There we go. Some, there we go. And then we can, over here we can call him Recruit. Bam. And that is a Recruit. And down here we can mess around for the stats. There we go. Done. And that will be the first one done. That is my Recruit. And then we also give him some more one-handed weapon skill here. We'll just max it out there. And give him, maybe give him some two-handed skill as well. Because I think some, some of these carry on to the next tier, depending how experienced they are. So I, get, I think it is worth using all your, profi all your proficiency points if you can. And um, when you're done, press save. And basically, um, it will just copy them all um, to the end, no, no matter what tier you do. So once you do this one, all those three will change, and so on. And eventually, you'll be done. It does take a long, long time, so I'm going to quickly go through my army. And the cool thing about this is that we can change this if we want to in the future. And uh, I think if you guys have any ideas or any cool comments or any, you know, ideas that um, impact the series, I can also rename troops after you guys. I sort of had a bit of fun with these ones. We've got the Banlord Knights, we've got the March 20th is when... This is coming out. I've, I think. Wait, no. I think Battle's coming out on the twentieth. I don't know. And then we got the beta key sharpshooters, mostly people who got the beta key. All that. Anyway, so yeah, we have the men at arms over here. This is basic basic infantry, as you can see. Um, we got the sentry guard, which is like a basic crossbowman. Then we go to the sharpshooters, the elite sharpshooters, and then obviously the elite ones. Um, going all the way down here, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how they look. We're, we're kind of going with a red theme. Um, also, we, we're trying to stay away from, you know, copying Swadia. We want to make our own looking faction. And I think it, it stands out pretty well. I'm pretty happy about how it looks. We've also kind of kept in theme, because as you know, my army that we had before this was basically Huskulls and Ro Rodok Sharpshooters. And I wanted to keep the theme of that, so I've got my own sort of version of the Huskulls. They're very, very similar. Um, very, very similar in um, equipment. Um, the armor's a little bit different. Uh, helmets are the same, shields are the same. Um, actually, I might swap the axe out because that's the wrong one, but um, overall, I'm really happy of how they turned out. And these guys are almost identical as well. And here we have the Bandlord Knights. Now, they do have the great swords, but they tend to use these a lot on horseback, so I might get rid of it and try and use something else. Uh, maybe a 200 weapon that does do better on horseback because the, um, from testing this out, they do use it a lot and they don't get any kills because the swing is so slow, it doesn't really hit anything. And that is that. I've also removed basically the entire garrison. I made sure my army was ba basically the same as you saw it last time. Now I did make a huge mistake and I kind of annoying, but because when you hit custom, when you go to customize your troops, it removes your entire army, including your companions. Now slowly over time, now I haven't played much, but slowly over time, a few have joined back as you can see, um, which is nice, but not many, not many at all. Um, so I think over time, um, we're going to get a bunch of script errors and companions will slowly start to join back into our party. Um, the main one that I'm really annoyed about losing is Jeremus because he's our main medic. He heals all of our troops really fast and we don't have him at the moment, so it's a bit annoying. 
but I'm just glad that they will eventually do, uh, that, I'm just glad that they, they will come back eventually. I just don't know how long it will take for all of them to come back. But uh, anyway, so I did test out the um, my army on a little battle. Um, obviously, all my villagers are getting raided. And I'm pretty sure it said a massive host of troops were at this village here. And uh, I've also kept a few troops, as you can see. Not making it too OP, so when you do customize your troops, it gives you a garrison of almost 400. And I removed basically all of them, just because I don't want to cheat. Oh, here we go. Yes, here we go. Attack my city. Come on. Come on, attack it. You'll all lose, I, I guarantee it. Hey, Jeremos is back. Just in time. Welcome back, friend. <laughs> and look at all the script errors. Welcome back. That's hilarious. Oh, God. All right, the battle started. It is time to fight. Here we go. Kill them, lads. Kill them all. The only men we're going to lose to is their archers because they're just everywhere. Half their army are horse archers. Besides that, our infantry are so much better and we should be fine. Die, scum. I picked up a crossbow off, off one, one of my dudes. And uh, it's quite fun to use. The only thing left is <laughs> all of the troops um, stuck in, the, uh, in their spawn bit, which is uh, a pain in the ass to get to. So been here for a while now. Only a few are getting through slowly. Um, problem is, if I die, I I don't know what happens because none of my guys can actually leave the walls. Just there's no way of leaving. So uh, I'm just gonna try and just slowly shoot them down without dying. I guess. I just realised I have all of these crossbowmen here. Oh my god! All right, here we go. This should be a bit better. I put my infantry here, and they focus on my infantry. So I shoot the infantry. Where were all these archers before? Oh my god. Nice, I'm going down. Alright, here we go. Ow. Ah, oh, they got me. Bastards. So my crossbowmen should finish them off. Reinforcements have arrived. Which we should be good. Oh, come on. Yes. One more. Finish him. Oh, come on. This might be a huge problem in the future. Oh, <laughs> come on. It's just one. Thank you. Oh my lord. How stressful was that? After 10 years of fighting, it's finally over. Ah, uh, yes, I think this is the guy that recruits troops finally. That's actually who I really wanted. Too easy. Anyway, I was following this guy. And I remember him because he had a he had a cool banner. Um, when I was spending loads of time um, in between episodes, uh, just, you know, building up my character, I did some traveling and I saved this guy a few times from some, uh, from some bandits because he had a really small army at the time. I'm going to see if he wants to talk to me in private. And the reason I remember him, because he's got Arian's banner. Arian is one of my main admins on my Discord server. And in my banner pack, this character in-game has his banner. So that's how I know who it is. Um, how do you feel about Sultan Hakim? I'll be honest, I feel sometimes Sultan Hakim overlooks. Aha, this is perfect. Well, I have something to tell you. Ask for you to support for, you know, for him with Radio. Aha. Um, I don't know if this guy is like honorable or not. Um, because I will reward you with lands. I ask you to pledge your allegiance to me. Let me think. Military, I might be safe if I joined you. Yes. I am more comfortable with you and your companions. Yes. You speak of giving me land. Good. I ask for no more than I am my due. Yes. We have our first lord who has joined us. Oh, how exciting is that? Yes. Look at that. And it's basically Arian with his cool little banner that I made him. Cool. Amazing. All right. So where's my... Uh, there he is. You can tell who it is because he's got the, the cool looking armor. All right, I like to talk about recruits. Can you recruit some recruits, please? Yes. Um, let's go with let's go with melee. There we go. Lovely. Awesome. 
Kind of listen to patrol. Let's get a big one. I think this is a cool way of getting troops really quickly. Three grand. That is uh, that is a lot of troops. I think. I mean, oh yeah, we got another companion back. Loads of script errors. Um, f and yeah, again, just for those who may have not paid attention. Basically, um, because when we got our customized army, it, it removed all our companions, so they're slowly, slowly all coming back to me. This, as you can see, they're all coming back. <laughs> um, this is another lord that I made friends with. I don't know if I'm friendly enough that he would talk to me, um, but the reason why is because that is John's banner. John is also a, is a very, um, very important admin on my Discord server and YouTube comments. And I can tell because that's the banner I made for him as well, his coat of arms. Um, let's see if I can catch up to him. That's the problem. Come on. Come on, John. I'm just going to call him John. You know, what? you know what I can actually do? Oh, no. My. Oh, no. I'm being besieged. John, please. Ah, God damn it, John. I have to come back for you another time. My patrol. We must go help the patrol. Charge. Kill them all. So my castle's being attacked by a small army. It's nothing that... Threatening, but at least we get to see our army on the field for the first time. And I've also, for some reason, oh my god, I forgot the old cavalry. Oh my god, this is hilarious. Look at all the cavalry. Oh, it's insane. Look at all of them. Oh my god, this is insane. Okay. Wait, is this my patrol? Or is this my? Is this my lord? I think it is. Oh, it's. It must be my lord because these are surrounded troops. This horse is so fast, and I love it. I'm so used to having really slow horses. Get them, lads. Kill them all, you Mamluks. All right, there we go. We saved our lord, which I'm sure he'll appreciate. No, wait, I can't tell. I don't think it. Okay, no, I don't think it was. I think it's just our patrol was just made of Saranid troops because it's a Saranid settlement. It was, yeah, okay. Um, I need you to reinforce somewhere, please, patrol in your area. I need you to reinforce the garrison, even though there's not, even though there's not many of you. Um. Oh, this is bugged. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Alright, so we're back. It's been a good week. Um, so, in the last week, uh, I haven't been able to edit, so I was playing a little bit in the background, and I, I thought I was recording, but I must have missed an entire thing because I the, f the, the recorded footage is just nowhere to be seen. I don't know what happened to it. I swear I was recording. Um, the annoying thing is that it was quite it was kind of important because we did recruit two more lords. Um, I always keep forgetting who they are, and I think this area is bugged because there is a lord up this. <laughs> so, two of them came out. Um, two of them came to my castle, and they obviously wanted wanted to leave their faction. Well, no, no, they've been exiled from their faction, and they were looking to join my faction, which I did accept gladly. The only problem is there's um, a bunch of lords over here. I think that's a new person there, and I can't. Lord Caster of I, I don't know who that is. I'm pretty sure that's my other guy. Really confusing, but yeah, anyway, I can't access them. But uh, I think this would be a good time to um, have a little look at our, our city. So, we did get attacked again. Um, our garrison is looking pretty rough, but uh, we are surviving. Our villages are getting looted. The good thing is that this, um, the, uh, the, what are they called again? <laughs> the Kurgits are being attacked by two of the, two of the factions. They've kind of left us alone. The Saradids are still in the game. They've only got two castles, there and there. But they do have loads of lords still, and yeah, if... I just navigate over here. You'll see that they, they are currently raiding me, which is kind of annoying. And uh, they got a, quite a few, as you can see. A bit annoying. So I uh, can't, re can't really deal with them just yet. I haven't got enough men. And uh, we have been getting attacked a few times. But uh, I really want to take out a, I really want to take out another sieve today. So yeah. So here's my one of my new lords. Um, this is Lord Azadon. I think I'm going to rename some of my lords because this is actually the coat of arms I made for my friend Link. He's also one of my main moderators for the channel. So, um, that's cool. I'm actually going to ask if he wants to come with me. Oh yeah, I can't. He's over there. So, I can't actually talk to him. It's kind of annoying. Um, <gasps> oh, man. I was like a millimeter away from being able to talk to him. Um, there's, yeah, there, there definitely isn't a way up there. That's really unfortunate. My poor, poor village been taken out. Those bastards. I kind of want to take out this castle here. This castle's got a tiny garrison. Um, offering me money for the lord. Sure. Give me your money. Um, that's got two lords in there, so I can't take that out. They also have another castle. I believe it's this one or this one. And they've got a garrison of like 80. 
which is really, really low. So I might try and take another city out. Because also, I think my lords are going to want a castle of their own at some point. And I can't disappoint them, you know me. Actually, let's attack this castle here. It's only got 75 men. That's more than us. That's, that's going to be easy. And it's only ladders, yes. L ladders are good because ladders don't take long at all. Excuse me if I... Oh, he's leaving me. No, you know what? I'm going to persuade you. Oh, you're so expensive, you bastard. But he's a really good companion to have. Um, 3,000. You know what? I don't need the money, so no. Fuck, screw you. <laughs> and I've just pissed everyone off. Alright, let's lead us all into assault and let's take out this castle. I still haven't been able to fix the troop counter, so it's at 150, but that isn't too bad because it... it I don't know. I really like this banner that I made. <laughs> I don't know. I made this today for my friend Link, like I said before, and it just look. I think it looks sick. I, I, it really looks cool on the shields. I really like the look of it. Obviously, I made that one as well. The one just behind me, the red and black one. That's uh, that's John, one of my other admins, and I believe that's Clan from my Discord server. So yeah, a lot of these banners are based off people in my Discord server. So if you haven't joined, definitely uh, come join. Because uh, yeah, coat of arms and shit. That's cool, isn't it? All right, here we go. Making our way up now. This has been a lot. This has been a very long walk. I might, I might say. But we got our archers now firing. Not the best spot to be shooting from, but oh, we'll, we'll take it. All right, let's scale these walls. Let's get, them, lads. All right, let's get them all. Kill them all. This is absolute. Oh my god, there's more. This axe is making everything so much easier. This axe is fantastic. I definitely would recommend um, getting one of these axes. They're just brilliant. Looks like, looks like the last one is stuck in here in the hay. Not for long. You can't hide from me, man. You can't hide. You throw your javelins all you want. <laughs> He's hit, hit the structural target. <laughs> Amazing. A point of damage taken. Brilliant. Look at that. Wonderful. And uh ooh. No, I'm not gonna hide them. Screw that. I'm not that I'm not that desperate. <laughs> We're gonna do have some upgrades. Alright. I'll give it to him. I forgot I've completely forgot about how how all this uh, stuff works. All the lords are going to hate you and love you and hate you and love you. Let's share equally between the thingies. There we go. Lovely. Alright, fantastic. We've taken out a castle. And now we've got some. Uh, now we've got to deal with these guys. Alright, let's go deal with these guys. My horse, you bastard. Alright, here we go, lads. All my huskals. <laughs> What great troops they are. Got the calf flanking from the back. Perfect. An absolute blood blood bath. Absolute blood bath. Alright, this should be the last of the reinforcements. Lovely. There we have it. Another glorious victory. Fantastic. Lovely. Right. Saved you again, as always. <laughs> he loves me so much. He keeps, he keeps going into, into fights he can't win, so I had to keep saving him. He's like, I love you. <laughs> Alright, well, I think I'll end it there. We've, uh, so we've taken a new castle. We've recruited new lords. Well, I say, I say we've recruited, but they more came to me, so there we go. Um, I hope you enjoyed the episode anyway, and uh, I'll see you next time. We're, we're going to keep on conquering um, this area. And uh, should be f should be all fun and games. So I'll see you next time. Tata for now.